Hey guys, this is Garys again, and welcome to another episode of Survival Overdone. We are back here in Fallout, and we are kicking off with a Brotherhood of Steel's side missions to get in we'll thick with them. Yes, 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 yes. Shoes, shoes. Stop talking. Doing my intro over here. In uh, any case, so uh, we have to do some side missions for um, Brotherhood of Steel to get in with them so that we, they can assist us building the molecular disassembler and the signal interceptor and all those things. So, first thing on the menu for today is Store of Duty. We need to meet with these four guys. So, so I see at least they are all marked on our compass. Compass, compass. Greetings, mate. And yes, so let's quickly start oh, our greeting. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Clean your glasses. Yes. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh, meeting with crew. Either one of these, they say. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. If you want my help, just ask already. I wasn't aware you were interested, Knight. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Okay, great. So we have that and we have a ongoing side mission, collect technical documents. I can't remember how many caps he gives us, but he gives us a bunch, as he said, for each bundle of technical data. Don't you have any glue for me? I need to, I need to sniff some glue, man. I have EBGBs. Need to glue. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, guess we don't have a choice, right? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed nope. to radiation for an extended period of time? <laughs> I want to be sarcastic. My father said I used to sit way too close to the television. The television? Wait a second. Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. <gasps> anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Uh, I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question. <laughs> and please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Uh, nope. <laughs> that happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Okay. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, 
And I'll assume your answer is no. You're Last assuming question. a lot for Would this. Do you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Uh, no. Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Great. As I was saying, he is assuming a lot of things for <laughs> for this type of How can I institution. Help you? If you're looking for a way into the institute, you should talk to Proctor England. Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge responsibility, but we'll get the job done. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Ooh, it's a one helmet. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Now, why buy? If this is a military organization, shouldn't the military Wait, sponsor buy things? Them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Uh -huh. Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. That sounds suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Caps on the side, huh? Doesn't sound like official military business to me. Well, it is, and it isn't. It's complicated. That answer usually it involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Okay, we can actually check what he has to sell, but later. So, yes, usually with an answer to it like that, he does and he doesn't. Usually, is not legal. So, yeah, so much for that so, one. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. She has no legs. You sound disappointed. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Full blade. You should add teaching charm school lessons to the list. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but when you're as busy as I am, there isn't much time for bowing and curtsy. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Uh, let's be nice. I hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. How about polite. I just forget you mentioned it? Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. Oh yeah. Pretty Why not? T60 suit sitting in bay three. That's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Okay, great. Um, bay three. One, two, three. This one. That one. This one. Ooh. Can you believe synths are replacing humans with exactly Shiny. Humans? Makes me sick. Yep, this one is taken. So this one is darker. 
Okay, so yes, we are doing side missions. So let's see this one. Um, transfer. 500. Oh, wow, that's much more than the other ones. Oh, T60B. Let's take a fusion core. We're going to put in the 84. There we go. And let's see what we can do with it quickly. Model C. You see, we need science as well. So, science one. I prefer laser weapons myself. It's a cleaner shot. Leaves that memorable ozone smell behind. <laughs> well, friendly chap. Uh, where is science? Science. We need intellect six. Oh, yeah, that's why. We need three more intellect. Oh, well. Well, I guess we're doing that one. Let's take our power armor for a spin, why don't we? Doesn't seem fast or anything, but it will do the job. Ad Victorium, brother. Okay, let's go talk to Elder Maxon. Okay, loading coming up. Okay. We can keep that there. Since we have a much better one now. Flight deck. Another loading, sorry. Okay, here it goes. Oh, what's going on now? Where are we going? Oh, there he is. What's this? Familiarize yourself with the Pridwin's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Um. What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it then, shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong, and it's infested with super mutants. Okay. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Sure. Consider it done. Look. I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Okay. It sounds like it's this way. Do we need to go up? No, but there's some useful things here. Oh, actually, I don't want that. I don't see the. Bird a bird. I hear it, but I don't see it. <laughs> Maybe it's a visual glitch. Um, let's see quickly. Show no mercy board for vertebrate. It's still saying here. Get on that gunship, soldier. I want Fort Strong cleared and that stockpile secure. Okay, where's the gunship, mate? Well, let's get on to this one. 
Airport. It just sh shows airport. Well, then why not? Okay, I'm just going to save here in case we don't uh, need to go this way. Yep, here it is. Why is it on the ground? <laughs> Maybe a glitch in the game. A glitch in the matrix. Yeah, clear for a release. Forge strong, here we come. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Target acquired. I'll try and keep him in your sights. I don't see them. Oh wow, a beam. Okay, something tells me I need to get off now. Well, oh, thanks, eh? Well, in case I'm taking this one. Hello. Am I alone here? That's always nice. It's always nice that they drop me off alone. Ooh, aluminium. We need the aluminium. Oh! <laughs> I guess I'm alone because I didn't take pallet and dance with me. Oh well, doesn't matter. Just save in case. Okay. Plasma quarters. I wonder when we're starting to get plasma weapons. Pick it up, I of course I can see I can already buy it, but I don't want to buy it, it's too expensive. 
Ooh, what's this? Technical documents. That's what the other thing guy wants. So let's see how much he pays us for that. Okay, seems like nothing else here, so let's head up. Our core is still holding, and health and reds. AP all seems fine. Okay, well, if they don't come with. come with rocket. No green stuff. What are you talking about? But in any case, as I was saying, if they don't come with me, rocket launchers. Well, a bucket did. I'm guessing that's us. Okay, they know I'm here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's usually what happens when you get a bullet to the face. I'm just gonna mutate first. Face, please, thank you. Yep, I'm the bucket dude. Eat one. He's ruining the paint job on my brand new. <laughs> really? Oh, hello. You're scratching my pain job, mate. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, really? <sighs> okay, why not? Nah. I don't like good laser rifles. Well, if that's not apparent by now. Well, okay. Hello. Blood fly meat, I'm not gonna care about. Okay. Keep telling yourself that. Oh, sorry for that. Eat them. Microphone. Okay, that door is closed, so let's see if we can find another way. I know I can pick it, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna go up. Can't go this way. Oh, he's not dead yet. I'm sorry that I didn't finish off. Oh wait, we want to unlock, it gives XP. Haha, <laughs> wait. Anything and everything for XP, please. There we go. This one, can we unlock this one? Novice, yay. Uh. There we go. That's it. Four strong key. Actually, I shouldn't have picked that up. Nice. Oh no. Sneaking. 
That would be interesting for my other character I'm playing. Of course, that's a sneaky character. Oh, wait, there's a pulse mine. What's this? Actually, didn't want that one, but okay. Fusion. Ah, almost for that was a fusion core. Actually, we still have a few fusion cores, so it's not too bad. We're not doing too bad, are you? Let's see. Can we go up here? Come on. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, fusion cell, plasma cartridge, okay. Is that all? Seems so. Why would I want a blue suit? Really not something interested. Water, yes. Nah. Oh, we must see if we can maybe wear that one already. That would be awesome. Even though it gives minus one agility, but we must try to see if we can um, modify it. Then we can maybe get a. Um, Get rid of the minus one agility. Okay, let's go up, going down. Seems like we're actually going down. <laughs> Weird. And this episode is actually becoming long. Well, this is a filler episode, but. Yeah, we need to do it, unfortunately. There's two things here. No, no pin. Oh, that was my bad. A mop in this one. Okay, great. Um, I didn't mean to do that. You can't hide forever. I'm not hiding. I'm just killing you from a undisclosed location. <laughs> uh, let's see if I miss that way. No trap. Beautified. You soon, Thank you for that. Weird that I marked it that way. Did I kill him? Seems like it. What? <laughs> I like grenades. What? Scared already? <laughs> oh goodness. I don't know how many grenades I left left. 24, okay. How do I cancel a grenade now? I don't know, I always press the wrong button. Yep. 
definitely the wrong one. What's dance doing here? Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Um... Makes sense. Makes sense. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Well, I haven't done loot it. I want to loot. I want to loot. I need to loot. <laughs> so Dan's just came here just to talk to me for that. Interesting. Let's see what we can quickly grab before we get out. Oh, I love grenades. I didn't know it was that fun to use them. We <laughs> cleared the whole <laughs> area with a few grenades. That was fun. Serious fun. <clears throat> I'll never doubt grenades again. That is so much loot. Let's, uh, let's take it, why not? Yeah, there's a... The um, looking glass thingy with it. Okay. Why do I pick up rats? Oh, we need a, one of those. I'm trying only to grab the things that we really need. Like bottle caps, that is a necessity. Especially if you want to buy something epic later on. Better weapons or something like that. Also, the technical box gives bottle caps, so that's a good one. Novus, okay. So it, we get a few points of XP and nice. see what we get. Ammo, ammo. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, mini nukes. Bring them. Oh, here's a warhead. Great. I was wondering where they are. Oh, and here. Mini nukes. Great. Oh, now we're just down here. Okay, no problem. Okay, how did they get this thing in and out of here? I don't see a door. Well, guess I just built it in there just to get the warheads up and down. Excuse me, up and down. Oh, I see inside of each is these mini nukes. Great. Well. Time to head back. Where are we inside? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Fusion cell, yeah. Definitely not. Okay, which way? This way. 
was just making sure. So, no worries. And we have 12 fusion cores. Great stuff. That's always nice. And we can do another elf. Okay, so this was side mission number one, Force Strong. Okay, so we'll see in the next episode what happens then. I think we are close to the end now. Well, we just have to be because we're almost into the um, institute. If I think once we get into into the institute, the main mission will be done. I think there's a few things to do still after that. I have never played that much because it takes me a bunch of hours just to get there. <laughs> I've never went past there. This time I'm shoot. I definitely should. So even if a main mission completes, guys, I'm still going to continue this ep series of episodes so that we can get everything done. All the main missions, and especially if someone is like me that doesn't um, finish everything completely, then we can do it together and they can also check it out. Okay, so loading. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back on a print run. Well, they're still shooting. Maybe we should go help them. I could probably leave my power armor right here. Okay, I hope they don't take my fusion core. That would be fun. Okay, I think let's put it up there. <coughs> Decide. No matter how many battles we win, there is always another fight ahead of us. Okay, not loading. Okay, let's just quickly finish the debriefing and then we can end the episode. Hey, why does this look so familiar? Haha. <laughs> Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It wasn't the Institute. Too bad it wasn't the Institute. Not to worry, Knight. You'll be dealing with them sooner than you think. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, Use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Oh, nice. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Okay, so you can buy them. <laughs> Will the vertebrates stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course. Nothing stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong is simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm okay. sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth was a coincidence. Okay, stop talking, please. Okay. Proximity sensors green. Getting a three second ping back. Okay, I while well, I stop the talking, I'm thinking he's gonna give us another mission and I'll rather save that mission for the next episode, guys. So once again we are cowering in a corner while we're doing our outro. Thank you for joining me guys. I I hope you guys enjoyed the Fort Strong mission that we did, the side mission, or the filler episode, or however you want to view this. Unfortunately, we have to do this once again to get favor with the Brotherhood so they can help us infiltrate the Institute. This is a difficult task, even Virgil <coughs> said so himself. So that is our mission, is to get favor and get inside the Institute. So, 
with that thank you for joining me guys once again and please check the description for links to the, my public discord channel come have a chat with me if you're interested in arc survival evolve come join us in the uh, public server that uh, we have that's interesting <clears throat> and um yes please leave a like or a dislike if you prefer uh, but please give me a comment why you gave me a dislike so that i can work on my content to make uh, the the future content more enjoyable for everybody and please remember to subscribe guys that uh, that helps me a lot and i appreciate it a bunch and with that i will see you in the next one cheers